Blog Talk Radio. Stevie B's Media Production is a part of the Shellcaster Network. Stevie B Media Production presents Acapella Gospel Music Blast with your host, Stevie B. Playing your favorite acapella music from the world's greatest acapella artist. Sit back, relax, and listen to the sweet sound of voices. We're flying at 30,000 feet. And you're riding with Stevie B. You can call into the live show, 713-955-0508. Or email us, butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com. Contact us. Let us know who's riding with Stevie B on the blast. Acapella Gospel Music Blast, and you're listening to Stevie B. This radio show is the 2018 nominee for the NACAMA, the National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Artists Award. This radio show is being broadcast from Stevie B Media Production at the Carolina Studio in the great state of North Carolina. This is Stevie B. Be. And I'm the blaster master of acapella gospel music. And according to the late Yvonne, the general Connor from Dayton, Ohio, she says Stevie B is the hardest working Christian DJ in the world today. May the good Lord have mercy on us. So that was my dear sister right there. I also have a recent quote from an interview I did with Jesse Marat Isage from State Company from Louisville, Kentucky. We had him on the show as the producer for the acapella group Divine Experience. And also one of the lead vocalists, Brandon P.K. Smith, was on that show from Tampa, Florida. Now listen to this quote from Isage. I really appreciate this quote from Isage. He said, my radio voice, <laughs> my energy, my creativity is refreshing and nobody does it better. Because nobody's going to outwork me. I really appreciate that quote from East Ace. Also, a quote from Brian Malone from Committed Acapella Cards out of Rogersville, Alabama. He was on the show here. He said, uh, Stevie B is the hardest working man on the radio. Certainly appreciate that quote from Brian Malone. Also, a quote from Thurman Meadows out of Temple, Texas. He said, Stevie B is the hardest working man in acapella Christian music. I certainly appreciate that quote. I also have a recent quote from the late Irvin C. Jackson. We lost Irvin here the earlier part of the year from Wesley Chapel, Florida. He was debuting his music here on this radio show. He, uh, he said, and I really appreciate this quote, he said, Stevie B is the greatest and the hardest working man. He said, I consider you to be the lighthouse of acapella gospel music. Certainly appreciate that quote from the late Irvin C. C. Jackson. Also a quote from Mr. Uwe himself, Dorian Paul from Houston, Texas. He's, we had him on the show a couple of times. He said, Stevie B, we need you. We need you, Doc. Don't you go nowhere because we need you. <laughs> That's what they say, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you what they say. And also a quote from my dear brother, Jeremy Roberts from Iowa, Virginia. We interviewed Jeremy on the broadcast. He said, Stevie B, is the hardest working man on the radio, period. And also a quote from Anthony Blunt. He's the radio host for the Gospel Train that airs on Sunday morning on W 94.7 FM, WWBC 1510 AM in Rockless, Florida. He said the same thing during our interview on his radio show. So it must be some truth to it. I also have a quote from Kenneth Ray from Made New Acapella Ensemble out of Louisville, Kentucky. He was on the show. He said, Stevie B is the hardest working brother in acapella music on the ones and twos. That's what they say, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you what they say. <laughs> also, a quote from uh, comedian Tim Project from right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He said, now listen to this quote from Tim. He said, there are many great Stevies in the world like Stevie Wonder that made nothing but classics in the music game. 
But you also need to know about my guy that's killing the radio game. My guy, Stevie B. I like that quote from t- comedian Tim Pridgen. And then we have a quote from my dear brother Ali Ezell from Fayetteville, North Carolina. He says, Stevie B is the mouth of acapella Christian music. I like that. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. All right, let me get this big iron bird on up off the ground. I rubbed my two little coins together and bought me an airplane. Fly at 30,000 feet. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking back Friday night for the Lord. Oh, yes, we are. For the next two hours, I want to play some of your favorite acapella gospel songs from such artists as Straight Company, Dorian Paul, Camille Acapella Chorus, and many, many more. I want to hear from our listeners tonight. You can give me a call to the live show at 713-955-0508, or you can go to the Blog Talk Radio website and listen to the show live. I just turned tuned into that site, and we're on page number two on that Blog Talk Radio website. And you can also uh, give me a, send your emails to me if you'd like to send your emails. Just let me know who's riding with me on the blast tonight. You can send your emails to butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com and just let me know who's riding with me on the blast tonight. I'm trying to lift up your spirits with these inspirational songs on a Friday night. That's right. It's Friday night, and Stevie B is playing acapella gospel music. So turn up your spiritual ear. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. At the bottom of the hour, I'll be featuring my song of the week. We want to feature a song, tell you a little bit about the artist, and this song will get two plays on the show tonight. And we'll also be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late Linda Dilly from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We just want to keep her memory alive on this radio show. And also, we'll be featuring on the broadcast my funny bones. You know I love those comedians because laughter is good for the soul. We'll be featuring two comedians on the show tonight. Also, I'll be featuring my shout outs because these are some people I've been in contact with, whether it be here on social media. All people I've been meeting in my local area here, right outside of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, who are listening to this radio show and they just love acapella gospel music. And I've also been meeting people who've never even heard acapella gospel music, so it's just a thrill for me just maybe to introduce them to this great music that we get to enjoy here on The Blast on a Friday night. So I just want to show them some love, let them know how much appreciate their love and support for this radio show. I also have a new feature on the broadcast called my monthly triple spin. And for the month of July, we'll be featuring the soul influence out of Houston, Texas. And I'll be playing three of their singles for every show for the month of July, with the exception of my top 20 countdown show. And I also have a feature called my old one hundreds, And I'll be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late wide Vaughn, the general Connor from Dayton, Ohio. She says, Stevie B, you got to play something for the old folk. <laughs> so I considered what she said, and of course she was right. So I came up with the feature, my old 100s, and we'll be dedicating that feature to her. She was with me from the beginning when we uh, started this radio show. So we just want to keep her memory alive on this radio broadcast. Sorry about that. So you got Stevie B, the Blaster Master, loose in the booth on the ones and twos. So let's get into the music, the sweet sounds of voices. 
As I go through my playlist tonight, I'll be announcing the uh, previous interviews that we've done on this radio show with the various artists and producers and even comedians that we've interviewed on this radio show in the past few years. And I'll also be telling you what episodes they will appear on and where you can go to find them uh, on those various shows. You can also go back and listen to those previous episodes on the various musical platforms, wherever you're getting your favorite podcast from. Just just search for Stevie B Media Productions, uh, whether it be on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Amazon Music, YouTube, etc. Uh, also did some recorded versions of the live shows. Uh, there were some artists that when I was debuting albums on those uh, shows, and I did recorded versions. And all that is, I just took my voice out of the show, and it's the same playlist, the same show. I just took my voice out. Some people say that's a blessing. I don't know. But just look, search for recorded version shows uh, on iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and also on Deezer. You can search for those shows. I think you really enjoy what you're hearing on those recorded version shows because they're done in beta high five and the sound quality is excellent. So you really enjoy what you're hearing on my recorded version shows. Now let me t- bring you up to date on some of the upcoming events that we got going on here in the acapella world. And on July the 20th, uh, there'll be a gospel concert featuring the North Mississippi chorus. And some of the groups that'll be there is basic, and there'll be many other groups there. And that'll be at the West Oak Grove Church of Christ there. The address is 3455 Highway 51 South in Hernando, Mississippi. And then on July the 29th, my special guest on that show will be George G. from Chi-Town, Chicago, Illinois. He'll be on the show debuting some new music. George has over 100 uh, songs that have never been aired on the radio. Now, I'm not saying we're going to play all 100 of George's songs, but that's just how much music he says he has. So we try to bring him on the show at least once a month to debut some of his music on this broadcast. And then on August the 5th, my special guest will be Curtis Williamson from Miami, Florida. We'll be debuting his new 2022 album entitled Whatever Comes My Way. And then on August the 12th, my special guest will be all of the headliners for the upcoming Acapella Experience Tour, where we have Rain from Central Florida, Anthony Carter from Chicago, Illinois, and the queen of the tour, Anissa Cooper from Memphis, Tennessee, and also Vision from Houston, Texas, will be on that show. So that'll be on August the 12th. And then on August the 19th, there will be no show scheduled on August the 19th. That's going to be by travel day, ladies and gentlemen, because the Acapella Experience Tour kicks off that next day, August the 20th, in Birmingham, and then on August the 26th, George D. will be back on the show, debuting some more music. And also comedian Valente Hood from Nashville, Tennessee, is going to be on that show as well with George G. So that's on August the 26th. Now, let me tell you about the Acapella Experience Tour that kicks off here in Birmingham, Alabama on August the 20th. And the rest of the cities and dates, now these are just the, I don't have all the dates, but these are just the dates that I do have that I want to uh, tell you about on September the 10th now. The Acapella Tour will be here. Acapella Experience Tour will be here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And then on September the 17th, we'll be in Atlanta, Georgia. And then on October the 1st, we'll be in Pompano Bay, Florida, Pompano Beach, Florida. And then on October the 15th, we'll be in Los Angeles, California. And then the the rest of the cities, I don't have dates for these cities, but these cities are pending in Memphis, Tennessee, Houston, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, Chicago, Illinois, and the state of Mississippi. Now, there's also, there might be a spring tour, and we'll announce those dates uh, as we get those dates as well. This will be a Chef Table production. The promoter is Chef Brian Brown, formerly of the acapella group Just Us from Atlanta, Georgia. Now, on November the 24th through the 27th, 2022, there will be a 2022 Christian Acapella Music Festival and Award will be held at the Hyatt Regency in Jacksonville Riverfront Hotel, and that address is 225 East Coastal Line, Coastline Drive from, in Jacksonville, Florida, 32202. And you can also call for reservations at 855-516-1090. The tickets for this event will go on sale. They're already on sale, actually. And, yeah, that's what we got going on. Now, who's on the playlist tonight? I got a nice playlist for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I have some new singles from George G. from Chicago, Illinois. Kenya Shelley from Fresno, California. Dwayne Pugh and Brad MacArthur, both from Dallas, Texas. Straight Company, my power group out of Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to have a great show tonight. 
At the bottom of the hour, after my song of the week, my special guest will be J.T. Emerson, a.k.a. Cali J.T. <laughs> From the state of California, looking forward to talking to Cali J.T. on the broadcast tonight from the group Exodus. Enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen, on the blast tonight. Enjoy the show. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. You are in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Kicking off the show tonight, I got a double play. My man Dwayne Pugh and Brad MacArthur, both from Dallas, Texas. Their single, God's Music, from their 2019 album, Life in Music. We debuted that album here on this broadcast, episode 177. If you didn't get a chance to hear that show, also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 37. This song is also number 13 on my top 20 countdown show for the month of July. And that'll be followed by the Melody Airs out of Houston, Texas. I love this group. They have a single redeemed from their 2000 album, Looking Under Jesus. And we did an exclusive interview with one of the vocalists of that group, Frank Melton III. That's episode 99. Also did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio, episode number 26. Enjoy my double play, kicking off the show, Dwayne Pugh and Brad MacArthur and the Melody Airs. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. I remember Sunday morning, Daddy would turn on the radio, saying I could feel the house changing, the rearranging, yeah, things shifted, I felt the fun through the crowds of joy, oh yeah, all oh, four problems stayed, felt like life would get much better when the music I felt it down deep in my soul The kind of music that cannot be ignored, no This music, I choose it Cause it keeps me going on Yeah. Uh, this music, I choose God's music, God's music. 
one John Rock oh, yeah. can pick you up from under oh, yeah. if life circumstance let you know you still have a chance yeah 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 <laughs> alright cut dum dum ba dum dum ba ba dum dum ba dum dum show tonight, my special guest is J.T. Emerson, a.k.a. Cali J.T. from the Acapella Group Exodus from Reseda, California. Looking forward to talking to J.T. on the broadcast. I want to give a shout out to Elijah Cooper from Works at the K, Circle K here at Hope Mills, North Carolina. She lives in Hope Mills, North Carolina. Elijah Cooper, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Hi, my name is Vonda Waller from the Columbus, Georgia area. You're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is Tony Carter from the Chicagoland area, and if you are looking for God to give you a song... 
to sing like Jesus. Then you tuned in to the right place. You're listening to Stevie B on the Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Hey. Hey. Coming up next, I got a double play coming your way. Infusion out of Los Angeles, California. Their single, No Room in the End. From that 2000 album, Sold Out. And we did an exclusive interview with Barry and Jones, episode 242. Now, also did a... Uh, now, this album is produced by Cornell Clark from San uh, Bernardino, California as well. And that'll be followed by Kenya Shelley from Clover, California. She has a new single entitled, Just Let Go. You're going to love this song. They also did an exclusive interview with Kenya and her producer, Cornell Clark. That's episode 260. And this song features Nuff Said. You're going to love this song by Kenya Shelley. Enjoy this double play, Infusion and Kenya Shelley. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Can you see the star in the sky?
She works at the VA Dental Clinic in Fayetteville, North Carolina. She lives in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Virginia Rodriguez, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is Orlando Tisdale, a.k.a. Mookie, and you are listening to me on Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This your girl, Tony Washington from Journey Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Pumalone. And you're listening to the acapella gospel music blast with Stevie B. Hey. Oh, yeah. Coming up after my song of the week, my special guest on the broadcast tonight is J.T. Eberson, a.k.a. Callie J.T. from the acapella group Exodus from Reseda, California. Looking forward to talking to Callie J.T. on the broadcast. Depending on the ones and twos, it's Stevie B, the blast of massa of acapella gospel music. 
Good day, family. It's your boy, George G, a.k.a. George G International, G-G-I-G to the double E. You're listening to the phenomenal sounds of acapella gospel music blast where the bass note bumps and the E note jumps and the sopranos and the altos and the tenors make you sway. Oh, yeah, it's a head knocker, baby, and a rock and cheer rocker acapella gospel music blast. Your host. Stevie B, spinning the voices that soothe the soul, flying at 30,000 feet, not missing a beat, acapella, gospel, music blast. Stevie B's acapella, gospel, music blast. Stevie B's song of the week. We'll be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late Linda Dilly from Tulsa, Oklahoma. She was a member of my staff here at Stevie B's Media Production from the year 2016 to June 2021. She wrote all the questions for the artists that we interviewed on this radio show, and we just want to keep her memory alive on this radio broadcast. Stevie B's Song of the Week. B's Song of the Week. From the 
song of the week. Hey, this is Brad MacArthur. And don't forget to check out the album Life and Music along with Dwayne Pugh. You are now listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. What's going on, everybody? This is Mario McKinnon coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Y'all keep listening. For everything he's done, I got to praise the Lord. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Hey. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen on the show tonight, my special guest is J.T. Emerson, a.k.a. Cali J.T., from the uh, fellow group Exodus from Mesita, California. Uh, Cali JT, how you doing, brother? Welcome to the blast. Hey, I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic, Stevie B. How are you? How you enjoying the ride tonight on the blast? Oh, man, it's been fantastic. I've looked out the window and seen some birds and a couple of UFOs, man. I'm having I a blast. I know that's right. <laughs> hey, welcome to the blast, man. Hey, why don't you introduce yourself to my listeners for those who may not be familiar with you? Certainly. Well, um, Cali JT is the name I'm trying to kind of associate with um, a lot of what I'm doing musically now. Uh, Most people know me as, of course, John Edmerson, and I uh, wrote the song, I'm Glad I Know You. Uh, That was back in 1993-94. We released it with Exodus, and um, so that's the song that most people associate with me. Exodus, we released a CD with Johnny back in 1994, Exodus Across. I'm sure we'll get into that some tonight. And okay. uh, that, that album has, has done uh, well. Um, the song, I'm glad I know you, is the number one song in Johnny's publishing uh, catalog that we've kind of kept up with over the years. So God has been good in that respect. And I'm just back uh, working on some new music and looking forward to sharing it with your listeners. Now, why didn't you tell me about that song? I'm glad I know you. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I wrote that, man. I sure did. Why you didn't tell me about it? I could have played it tonight. (laughs) Oh, well, maybe you can pull it up. It's got a couple versions out there. You have the the version we did. I can send it to you. Then you have the version that uh, Committed did and. You know, Paul yeah. has a, a congregational version I like. Uh, so, you know, however you want to present yeah, send, it, man. Hey, send it to me, and I'll try to play it before your segment ends tonight. Okay. All right. I'm, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it right now. Okay. Sounds good. Because we have some uh, songs that we want to play from your 1994 album, Exodus the Cross. Now, we have, uh, I think, about five tracks. I want to play from that, but if you can get me that, I'm glad I know you because I I didn't know about that song. I did not know about that. I... <laughs> yes, sir. Now I do have a few questions that I did want to ask you before we get into the album uh, Exodus to Cross. Now tell us now how did this group uh, acapella group Exodus get established? How, who, why, what, so, and when? <laughs> right. So so I I had been a summer tour. Uh, with uh, David Wilson and Robert Guy, John Green, Denise Hamilton, Cheryl uh, was Burnett at the time, Zeno now, and just a lot of phenomenal vocalists. And I had some songs that I'd written that I just wasn't able to do with the group, you know, with mm-hmm. that level of talent. You know, mm-hmm. David was our main songwriter. So I said, well, I have all these songs. And Amy and I would talk occasionally, always been a huge fan of, Amy's voice, and I said, Amy, I have some songs, and I want you to kind of help me put a group together to uh, to do them, and she mm-hmm. said, sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd met Terry Mays when I was a student at Southwestern. I actually, I, I'd actually seen her sing at the Hood Street Church of Christ in Waco at the time, but the corner was the minister there. I think Brother Ivory is there, the minister. Uh, he He's the minister there now. And I was just committing. I mean, Terry was just uh, phenomenal. Uh, didn't know her. She didn't know me. But I told her at the time, I said, you know, I I, I don't know 
when, but we're going to work together one day. So I talked to Amy, told her who I was talking about, and she knew Terry. They happened to be mm. good friends. Oh, and then wow. uh, Lamont was uh, at Southwestern as a student when I was the director of admissions. So we've always been close. Uh, so I had same thing with the group. Uh, Angela was in one of the tours that I took uh, on the road with me. Uh, when I was the director of admissions, Angela's a phenomenal talent, comes from a singing family. So those are the five voices, Terry Mays, Amy, uh, at the time was Johnson, now Walker, Lamont Robbins, Angela was Williams, now Pew, and myself. That is Exodus, and we did a, a eight-song album with Johnny back in 1994. Okay. They okay. did Thanksgiving weekend at the lectureship at Southwestern Christian College, and that, that's kind of how we uh, uh, got going. Now, all of this and more is going to be in our special uh, Exodus Untold Story, which is going to be airing September 2nd, and this is the mm-hmm. first time I've actually committed to a date, but okay. all of what you're hearing and more is going to be featured on this special. Now, that's going to be a new release? Um, it, it, it's going to be a video presentation with interviews and footage and, oh, okay. you know, just us kind of recollecting what that was all about. Hard to believe okay. we've been at it almost 30 years. Oh, wow. That sounds exciting. So so this song that you're talking about, I'm Glad I Know You, that was not on the 1994 yes, album, Exodus the Cross? It was. Yes, now, come on, was. Callie JT. <laughs> yeah, that was on there. You know, How that you... song almost, almost, uh, you know, didn't, didn't make the album, man. I just didn't think that people uh, were going to really respond to it. Really? And when Johnny heard all the songs, I didn't get a chance to do all the songs I wanted, but when he heard those seven, which is, but, but it's actually eight, uh, he mm-hmm. said, man, that, that's the one. That is the one, and I'm, I'm still amazed that people but how uh, come I, are But how come I didn't know song. nothing about it? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, man, a lot of people think that, you know, several people have written the song, uh, you know, and then, of course, it's just taken on so many different shapes, man. People have added their own words and their own arrangements, and I, I you know, I absolutely love it. But that song started with uh, Summer Tour, ooh, 93, 94, I believe. And I actually taught that song in its original form, didn't have a lead, it had a bridge, and then when I got, I was preparing to transition, um, I took the song and I rearranged it, I put verses on it, and I extended it. So if you look at that album, uh, it was actually a cassette, and then a CD, it actually says, I'm glad I know you extended version, and that just simply means that I have the verses, uh, Amy and Terry both team up on that song. They really do a great job. Well, if I can find it, or if you can send it to me, I'm going to play that before we end this segment, because I love that song. And I didn't know Terry Mays was a part of the group. And so when she came on oh, here, yeah. I, when, when, when I interviewed Terry on this show, she didn't say nothing about Exodus. Well, I, I don't know what to say. Maybe <laughs> just, it just didn't come up. But yeah, Maybe I didn't ask all the right questions. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, well, you know, Exodus was was the group and and the opportunity that you know that that at least initiated, you know, kind of getting her out to our brotherhood and, and touring and all of that. So we're, you know, very very pleased to have been a part of that. But she she's a phenomenal talent, and uh, we just absolutely love her. She and Willie and all the kids. We just love them to death. Well, let's hear some of this music from Exodus. And I had an old friend of mine, Melvin Jackson, when he was when we was putting this show together from the beginning back in 2016, he was telling me that Exodus one of the, was one of the groups that I needed to look up at that time. Mhm. So when I met you and you told me you was with Exodus, I'm, I looked at my list. I said, "There's Exodus right there. That's the group he's talking about." I'm like, yes, "Okay." Sir. So now let's let's play some of this music we got from your 1994 album Exodus. Exodus, and two singles that we want to play now is Do You Love the Bible and Whiter Than Snow. Oh. Uh, did you write these songs? Yes. Now, Do You Love the Bible is from the 2007 National Lectureship. Now, Exodus oh, okay. did do that. But if you want to play 
songs off of the 1994 album. Um, that's I'm Glad I Know You, The Cross, Wider Than Snow, I Think I'm Alone, I Can Make It Down Here. Those are all songs. Love Lifted Me. Those are all songs from that album. Okay. Well, we'll play this Do You Love the Bible and that Whiter Than Snow from the 1994 album. Let's go ahead and play that to give our listeners a chance to hear what this Exodus sound is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Got Kelly JT riding with us on the blast tonight. And I think you're really going to enjoy what you're hearing from this group, Exodus. Enjoy this double play. We got Do You Love the Bible and Whiter Than Snow. Hey, Kelly JT, thank you for riding with us on the blast tonight. We need a word from God today. Something to help us. Something to light our way. He has spoken. He is speaking to the Bible. Only the Bible. Yeah. Listen, he's always speaking. Yeah. I know his word is all right. Whoa, oh yeah. Do you love the word? Yeah. Do you love the word? Yeah. Do you ever heard of the light? Gotta let you know what I do with my God. I can say a medium can't tell what God's saying. They don't know it that well. He has spoken. The Lord is speaking to the Bible. All of the Bible, the hope to listen. He's always speaking. But are you listening to the word? Yeah. Oh, that I've never heard in my life. They bring somebody to the Lord hey, When they stop to listen Understand what they've been missing Some people teach Some people preach Some people sing But rapping is my thing When I'm working for the king Don't hate when you see us coming through We have to do it one time For you and you and you They get the girl out the street They get the guy out the club No more giving the world all up to you Do you love says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse number 16 and 17 that the word of God is inspired. The word inspired means that it's God breathed. When we read the word of God, when we open the pages of inspiration, God is literally breathing his word. He's breathing a word of encouragement in our lives. Oh, we can't get that from any other book in all of the world. We must go. We we must go to the Bible, the very word of God.
to James Wall. He works at the Walmart here in Hope Mills, North Carolina. He lives in Fayetteville, North Carolina. James Wall, Stevie B, wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is your dude, West Coast Black, a.k.a. Uncle Black from the West Coast Boys representing California. Sitting in the lab, the sweat box, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Peace and love, everyone. This is your girl, Genesis Archer from Jacksonville, Florida. And you're listening in to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone. And you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my special guest on the broadcast tonight is Callie J.P. from Rosita, California. He's with the group Exodus. Hey, brother, I appreciate you being right with us on the blast tonight. And those songs, man, is really nice. Really enjoying what I'm hearing from Exodus. Man, I'm glad. I'm glad we've got uh, quite a few songs and catalog going all the way back to 1994. Yeah, now, ladies and gentlemen, I do have that single, I'm glad. So we're going to end that segment with that single. It'll be two singles I'll be playing to end that segment. So I'm looking forward to hearing that, I'm glad. And you say Terry Mays is the lead vocalist on that song, right? Terry, Terry Mays and Amy uh, Walker now were the pair that just sang Whiter Than Snow that you just played. Mm-hmm. And then they also sang on I'm Glad I Know You. So they both Thing, uh, lead on those songs. Now I have another question I want to ask you before I play the next two tracks. Now, are there are you is this group working on any new projects? Yes. Besides yes, that uh, video new, that you were talking about. That's correct. Yeah, we have a new project coming out. It's called "The Lord Is in This Place," and it's due okay. out this fall. Uh, we met last November in California, and we learned over the course of a weekend, about 16 songs. And I've we've been working over the last year to record uh, the material. And we've also opened the uh, opportunity to some of our trusted uh, musical friends. So it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of people that you know. It's just going to be a lot of fun. It'll be something uh, historic, um, you know, in terms of my writing. I think my writing has developed uh and hopefully uh your listeners and the public will appreciate uh the direction that the album's taken so we're we're excited it's it's actually called exodus 2.0 it's the original group plus we added five additional singers so we we we're really happy with the lineup now when you release it now bring it back to the show and we'll debut here on the broadcast okay no problem now, the two more singles that I want to play from your 1994 album, Exodus the Cross, is Exodus the Cross, that's the title track, and that'll be followed by Love Lifted Me. Did you write these songs as well? I wrote The Cross, and Love Lifted Me was arranged by the late Nelson Grubbs of Kansas City, Missouri, or Kansas. Uh, please forgive me for those who know Nelson and um, I, I I just took the song like I did with Whiter Than Snow. Incidentally, that was arranged by David Wilson. Uh, I just kind of took it and tweaked a few things on it, but no, I did not write Love Lifted Me. I just did a little arranging. Mm-hmm. 
Now, you're not talking about the David Wilson that's in New York, are you? That's the preacher up in New York, are you? I am. I oh. am. Yeah, that brother can sing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's, a, he's a powerhouse for sure. We yeah. were all in the same summer tour. Myself, David, uh, Robert Guy, who sings with a cappella, uh, the late John Green. Uh, we were all in the same Southwestern group. Oh, wow. That's cool. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the next two singles that we're going to play from this 1994 album, Exodus the Cross, is Ex- The Cross and Love Lifted Me. You're going to really enjoy what you're hearing from the group. Exodus. Enjoy this double play, you guys. Stevie B and Cali JT riding with me on the blast tonight. Enjoy this double play, you guys. Stevie B on the ones and two. <laughs>
Lancaster with the singing group Durant, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast.
Hey y'all, this is Stephanie Booker Wilson of Stephanie Sings Vocal Studio, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Boom, boom, baby. I needed you to reach out and take my hand. This is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Hey. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on the show tonight, my special guest is Cali JT from Brasita, California. He's with the Acapella Group Exodus. Hey, brother, I really appreciate you riding with us on the blast tonight and sharing your music with us. Oh, man, I'm so glad to be here. Hopefully it won't be the last time. I'm a huge, huge fan of your work and just looking forward to some future collaborations. Yes, sir. I love what I'm hearing from this group, Exodus. I didn't know it was that good, man. I appreciate it, man. We put in a lot of work back in the day. It shows, too. It shows great quality singing that we're hearing here on the show tonight. Thank you. Now, before we end this segment, why don't you tell us about your radio station and this film work that you're doing before we conclude this segment? Sure. If you go to uh, Edmerson Music Group, that's edmersonmusicgroup.com, and you're going to scroll down. That's our splash page. You're going to click on Edmerson Radio, and you can go and start a free account, and you can listen to quite a few of my songs and songs from others. We're in the process of adding to the playlist, uh, but you can listen to um, songs from some of your favorite artists uh, and and some that we've not heard in a while. One of my favorite songs on there is by uh, the uh, Southside Church of Christ back when when Brother Norwood was there in Los Angeles. Uh, Addison um, uh, sang a song called I Need Jesus, one of my absolute favorite songs. uh, So I have that on there and just a huge fan of their work. So uh, check that out. When the music comes out, uh, it's actually going to debut first there at EdmersonMusicGroup.com. Uh, they're on the radio station. Uh, we're also adding a um, a TV component. So when you log in, it'll actually be Edmerson Radio and TV, and you'll be able to watch uh, the special that we're going to be airing in September along with several other videos, uh, some really good content that we're working on. And in addition to that, I'm working on a film, and this is the first time that I've talked about this publicly, uh, but we're going to be working on a film. Uh, We're going to feature uh, members of the Churches of Christ from all over this great land, and you'll hear more about it. uh, But uh, we've got some uh, some wonderful talent already lined up to assist in the project. Uh, So that's going to be coming out um, advertisements will be coming out about that real soon. Right now, my focus, though, is to get Porno uh, out, and that should be out again in the next couple of months. Hey, looking forward to having you back on the show, man. I just love the fact that there's a lot of great things going on in our brotherhood, man, regarding acapella gospel music. And this, like I, I said back in May, we're like on a new frontier in acapella gospel music, man. There's a lot of things happening. Yeah. Yeah, man, and 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 I do want to encourage everybody uh, to make it down to Cama. Uh, this, that's happening this November. Uh, this week we just released all of the advertisements about it. It's going to be uh, Thanksgiving week uh, down in Jacksonville, Florida. I've got a beautiful hotel, the Hyatt Regency. And um, any questions about that, you can certainly reach out to me. But I want to encourage everybody to go. We have a special we're running through the end of July, $40, and that's admission mm. for the entire weekend. And in a time where people are paying upwards of a couple of hundred dollars to see New Edition and Charlie Wilson and New Jodeci, I think uh, certainly uh, you can um, not only bring yourself, but bring several others for that uh, good right. value. And that's going to be $40 through the end of July. Now, before we close out this segment, is there anybody you want to give a shout-out to? Yeah, I want to give a shout-out to my lovely wife, Felicia. 
uh, our children, Exodus, Jules, Doreen, Lee, and Joab, my grandson, Julius. Uh, I also want to give a special shout out uh, to Exodus 2.0. Uh, it has been a wonderful, wonderful experience uh, connecting with the group back in 94. Then over the years, as our lives have changed, we still stayed in touch. Uh, we did some work around the lectureship in 06 and 07, and now we're putting this out. So I certainly want to give a shout out to Amy, Terry, Cheryl, uh, just so, you know, just, just such tremendous uh, talents. Uh, Ray Ray, uh, who is actually my new son-in-law, uh, Tony Grant, of course, uh, Lamont, uh, Kristen, um, uh, Jason is with us. Uh, I think I think that's everybody, so let me make sure I get everybody. <laughs> so you got Tony, <laughs> Tony, Jason, Lamont, uh, Ray Ray, and myself, so that's five guys. And you have Cheryl, Amy, Terry, Angie, and Kristen. So yeah, you got you got to write that, that down, and, brother. And, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Kristen, you know, Kristen is Terry's daughter, man. And when Terry was uh, singing with us back in the day, she had to bring Kristen with her. So Kristen has been with us since she was a baby, and so 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 happy to have such a phenomenal talent with us. Now you know that uh, new single that Terry put out here earlier this year, um, Beyond Now, that Thurman Matters wrote. Yes. Now, Kristen is singing on that song with her mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, we yeah, have... Man, uh, that, that, that whole uh, family, man. Now, now Faith, you know, Faith is the the youngest girl. You know, it's Desiree, Kristen, Jeremy, and Faith. Faith is the baby. And Faith, mm-hmm. you know, she's the studio uh, person, and she's actually okay. done some work on this new Exodus project. And okay. her... Her name, her stage name is Danae, and she's just mm-hmm. put out a, an album. I posted it on my page. But man, the whole, the whole family could just blow. Now you need to uh, hook me up with her, man, so she can come on the show. Faith. Yeah, if she absolutely. got some new music out. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, I will make that happen for sure. Cause you know that's what we major in here on the blast: new music. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And before I forget, man, let me let my folks know. I know they're listening in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, my parents, Dr. John and Michelle Edmerson, and my sister, Dr. Antherica Lane, my brother-in-law, Marvin, and my beautiful niece, Michelle. Uh, I'm not sure if Gamayo and his lovely wife and Katrina are listening, or uh, Jordan. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but um, I just want to let my immediate family know if they're listening. Thank you so much for supporting me as well. Amen. Now, we do have two uh, more singles that we want to end this segment with. I was able to get the single, I'm Glad, so we're going to end the show, I mean, the segment with I Thank Him Alone, which is one of my favorite songs on your 1994 album, Exodus the Cross, and the single, I'm Glad. That's the single that we was talking about at the top of this segment. So we're going to end. Did you write these two songs? I did. I did. I wrote, I wrote, I Think I'm Alone. I actually came up with that melody when I was in grade school and wow. didn't know that that was songwriting until I got to Southwest. Oh, so wow. I, you know, developed it. And then uh, I'm glad I know you. Of course, I've already talked about that. Yep, I wrote both of those songs. Hey, brother, you are one talented brother, I tell you. Thank you so much, Steve. I appreciate hey, it. Much, much love hey, to you, Lord. JT. Hey, Cali JT, I'm glad I know you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. God bless, man. And, and, and hey. Hey, if, if you don't mind, let me ask the listeners to go on Facebook, uh, put in Exodus 2.0, like the page, join the page. You'll be the first to hear about our new project. Uh, we'll be releasing a single here pretty soon. Really excited about it. Well, let me know when you're ready to drop it. We'll air it. Okay. Fantastic. Hey, thank you, Callie JT from the group Exodus from Cedar, California. Ladies and gentlemen, you, I hope you enjoy what you're hearing from this group. I've really enjoyed what I've been hearing from Exodus. Just excited about the upcoming project, as always. Hey, brother, thank you for riding with us on the blast tonight. Certainly appreciate it. All right. God bless, bro. 
God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two singles from Exodus. I think I'm alone. You're going to love these two singles from the 1994 album Exodus the Cross. And that'll be followed by I'm Glad. Enjoy this double play from Exodus. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Do you believe in God? my friend when I think I'm alone. Even in circumstances, I think I'm wrong. By refusing to submit to His divine and perfect will. Lord, as a mature and faint with that's still. God is my friend when I think I'm alone. Even in circumstances, I think I'm wrong. Yeah. 
Hi, this is Jeremy Roberts, singer of No Mistakes and album I Forgive You, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. pounds, don't buy him any toys, buy him a work permit. <laughs> I'm serious. I have a nephew that came in at 16 pounds, has never touched baby food in his life. Went from his mother's breast to a porterhouse steak. <laughs> He's two years old. His voice is lower than mine. He walks around the house, Uncle Tony. <laughs> Your Uncle Tony. Why don't you drive me to nursing school, man? <laughs> he wears his diapers down here. I buy applause. Anybody got teenagers at home? Yeah. All right. I'll pray for you. <laughs> teenagers are not human. I'm trying to raise my 17-year-old cousin. He's 6'7", and he swears he's God's gift to mankind. He's always lifting weights at night like he's in lockdown. <laughs> always trying to gauge how strong I am. Hey, man, how much can you bench press? I don't know. Well, how many push-ups can you do? I don't know. You want to wrestle? No. <laughs> Why, you scared? You scared of these guns? <laughs> if I was scared of you, I'd choke you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my stepfather told me. I was naive at 17. I was so naive, I picked a fight with my stepfather. And my stepfather's a Vietnam vet. I didn't find that out till after the fight. <laughs> He did two tours in arm. You do one tour because you're serving your country. You do a second tour because you got issues. <laughs> and I'm coming home 2 in the morning. My stepfather's right at the door. Hey, man, what time did I tell you to be in tonight? Man, get off my back. You ain't my real daddy. I ain't got to listen to you. He said, what'd you say? <laughs> it was really a rhetorical question. <laughs> he was just using it to get closer to his victim. I said, you ain't my real daddy. I ain't got to listen to you. Next thing I know, my stepfather's back in the <laughs> You want some of me, Charlie? You think you can take me, Charlie? And he started doing all these martial art combat moves that you see in movies, and you say to yourself, man, that'll never work in real life. It works. <laughs> He headbutted me, jabbed me in my throat, popped my ears, put dirt all in my mouth. To this day, I don't know where the dirt came from. 
We was in the kitchen. Where did dirt come from? And the only thing I got to say before I passed out was, who's Charlie? Stevie B's Funny Bones. <laughs> Tonight on the blast, I'm playing some of the world's greatest, the fellow gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're flying 30,000 feet, and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. Still amazing how 
Watch over me, Heavenly Father. Bless us. Keep us. Keep us in the hollow of your hand, dear God. Watch over me all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, I'm not thinking. Because of the grace and mercy I deny. Because I'm saved, your light also shines through me. My mind, body, spirit are no longer bound by sin. Yet I got it about the Holy One that lives with me. And Lord, I thank you for all you do. And Lord, I praise you. I praise you. Because your word is true. Lord, I love you. Nashville, Tennessee, former directors of Praise Unlimited. If you want to hear the latest and you want to hear the greatest, keep your station locked in to Stevie B. Welcome. This is Garrick Edison of the acapella group One Hope in Christ, straight out of Louisville, Kentucky. And you're listening to Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast radio show. And he's dropping bombs. Oh, boom, boom. This is Yvonne Gooch, owner of Blazing Crackers, and I am a proud sponsor of Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Blazing Crackers, stay on fire. You need a treat. You're hungry. You need some need. So you need a treat. You're hungry. Show up hungry. Need some need. Blazing crackers, B L A Z I N crackers, yeah. B L A Z I 
Lion Crackers, yeah. The L.A. Lion Crackers, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Stevie B's monthly trip, trip, triple spin, spin, spin. For the month of July, we'll be featuring the Soul Influence from Houston, Texas. We have taken three singles from their 2001 album, Persuaded, and their 2007 album, You Gotta Believe. And we did an exclusive interview with two of the original members of Soul Influence. Episode 176, that was Marcus Bonham and Monte Cuba, both from Houston, Texas. Man, the three singles that we'll be playing for my for the month of July is I'm Ready, I Just Love That Song. That'll be followed by Weakness, I Just Love That Song, too. And that'll be followed by Keep My Light in My Window, I Just Love That Song. Enjoy my monthly triple spin featuring the soul influence for the month of July. Stevie B's, Stevie B's monthly trip, trip, triple spin, spin, spin. There are two things appointed to a man: to live and to die. When your soul departs from this earth, will you be ready? When my chance comes again. Not too long ago, I found the Lord. After a while, you know, changed my heart. Changed the eye been a while, and now I like go. Go, I've been in the storm, floods and the rain. I've been rebuked and scorned So much pain I'm still here Because what he told me Jesus said Since he's coming back I'll be ready I'm ready He can't come and get me I'm ready If Jesus were to come back Then die I have learned to wait to just endure. In but I don't wait. I trust the Lord. May not come when I want, but it's right on time. We can't be discouraged Even though sometimes The light of hope is dim It's hard to shine Look into the hills Feel the power Encourage your soul to be ready I'm a ready
Oh, 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 oh. In the army of the Lord 